right you guys so welcome back to my channel this is gonna be an author tube um billion word journey video vlog um my name is amelia i am a christian romance author and i did a thing last night yesterday was my busiest day of all and i thought the night before was busy but nope mm -mm. so i just moved to the new place um thursday friday I went shopping, got everything I needed. That included food. Yeah, when I say everything's expensive, everything is expensive. So I decided to make my space, you know, an, an author space. So the dresser that you see is my writing dresser. So all the books that are in the lineup, they will be in the cupboard as well as the pen so i'm not really one to show y'all you know everything i got and everything and i already um i don't want to show y'all the figure rings i got either so <laughs> i don't need nobody coveting so that's a no-no but anyway i decided to come up with a writing space um i do have a desk over there and i'm gonna use that desk really just to have that desk to be in here i'm not one to create or have posters or anything like that in my room and there's a reason why um i don't idolize people i really don't i might like quotes and saying but there is not like a bell's outlet over here there's not a ross over here where i can just post up no hobby lobby hobby lobby i love hobby lobby and hobby lobby sells fountain pens y'all so I'm going to show you all my pen um, station as well, too. So, yeah, you're probably like, why she got a big bottle of water? I need to stay hydrated. Authors need to stay hydrated. But you will not see me have posters in my room. You will not see me just, mm -mm. no, like I said, I don't idolize people. But you will see the Bible. Yeah, I have three Bibles. So I have a steady Bible. I have a small King James Bible that I put in my pocketbook a lot. And I have the... KJV Bible that I sometimes do. Lately, I've been showing y'all this Bible, uh, my study Bible. Um, I got two chargers over there that need to be charged, if you ask me. Um, they are going to be my portable chargers. I might have them for like work and whatnot while I'm at work because Thursday was a late, late night. I went to work. I met my people. And um yeah um if you know i'm in the military as well so i met my people and the you know subordinates are gonna be underneath me as well uh, under my leadership i would say um yeah i mean it wouldn't be right with them you know doing this upcoming one well, never mind gonna go there i just wanted to see people that's all and let's just say i got in the habit of working again with job number one so um yeah so i had to do some work because the last thing i need to do is be stagnant i was telling somebody at the job i said look i need to get my job i said i need to get it together i really do and at the end of the day you know like i said i live and i work for god but i'm like this does he really want me to do this does he want me to do this so at the end of the day if he wants me to i'm gonna have to do it i've been really relying on him a lot and when i say a lot i mean a lot i've been relying on the lord a lot and over while i'm over here i've been up getting up at four doing my praying reading the word i mean like i spend like two hours with him in the morning and even at night, I spend like another hour with him. So that's three hours that I spend time with the Lord. And, you know, when it's time to work, it's time to work. So I have to find that balance. And I just want to get better at it. And even when Mr. comes, hopefully, you know, I can find that more balance again. Because I, like I tell people, my husband was the one that pushed me even closer to Christ because of how my husband was treating me and I was like you know what this has to be a God sent relationship because how my husband was treating me that's one and then two on top of that I wanted to grow more and more closer so it happened during um I met my husband during 
COVID. Yeah. So your blessings, they're not going to come with things that are just fine and handy dandy. They're going to come when you're in a mess and when you're in a rut. Ain't going to lie. So I'm going to get up and I'm going to show y'all what's in the drawers and we're going to go from there. So I'm going to try to see if I can. Oops, I don't want to show you how to figure rings. But this one, this cover, I am trying to make a um making it into a book area with all the other journals and whatnot. That way it will be more hand easier for me to just um you know grab a journal and just start writing from it. But this one's gonna be my closer up so I'm pretty much trying to make my area into like an office space even though it's my sleeping area. I ain't gonna lie. Um I'm trying to make more neat, y'all. <laughs> and no, I'm going to be writing over here, but the bed will be more in my office. I have to have something to drink. If I don't, then yeah. As you can see, this is my pen drawer. All my pens. I do have pens that are in my other bag. Um, those are going to be my pens for work and whatnot. And I'm going to take my writing to work with me as well. Um, as you can see, these are all the pens. There are fountain pens, gel ink pens. These are also the fountain pens that um, that um, the store has that's on post. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm not trying to really tell you guys where I'm at. I will tell you all later on. And I'll probably do an ode to Fort Campbell because Fort Campbell is where I just came from. Um... This is a pencil bag I really like. I like the military green. Um, this has like all the extra cartridges from the fountain for the fountain pens because these came with like two cartridges. And if you don't know what a cartridge is, a cartridge is like a matter of fact, this you can see the cartridge right in here. Um, this is a fountain pen that I got in Europe when I was in Romania. Um, this is a cartridge right here. Y'all see the little blue ink and everything. This is a cartridge right here. And yeah, it does take time. So really pretty much I'm majority of the time writing with these. Um, the G2, I love the G2 Pilot pens. I really do. And oh my goodness. When I say oh my goodness, these go by faster than any other pen. So right here are the books that are in the lineup if you don't know um yeah i'm not gonna show y'all the covers just of them yet until the covers until the first draft is done so some of these even don't have a cover yet so yeah so i can really just take this one out and take out the other one that does not even have a title to it um i just came up with one i'm trying to write more longer books you guys as a challenge because 15 chapters uh, it is easy and then you have 12 chapters i'm sorry i'm putting these up right here because i got four more that are in my bag and they taking up all my space <laughs> so i'm putting these to the side so that way but yeah these all have a cover minus these two even though i'm working on them well no actually these it's this one, this one, and then this one. These three don't have a cover yet. So when I'm in cover, I'm talking about a book cover. And I am trying to get the book covers together, everything. But this is like, yeah. And certain of these books have already been decided what's next and whatnot. And I'm still reading books. I'm still studying books, taking time with my crafts. Because I just decided to make the cover that I bought the story that I just bought the cover for and everything, I decided to make that into a 25 chapter, uh, 25 chapter novel. And normally when I write, you know, just a simple romance, Christian romance, 9 and 10, it won't really be that long depending on where the story might go. I just realized I was trying to put in something like this, but this one's like 12 chapters. And this one might be like, like I said, all my books they're like 10 to 12 chapters they're gonna be for the young people i really love young people and god knows that but yes like i said i'll show you more of my writing than i will do anything else like this is a writer's this is my writing drawer and then on the top i'm gonna move my water like i said i gotta stay hydrated on top you already see the books that are already 
in the lineup. These are the lineup, and then those are just waiting to be in the lineup. So five books is what I'm working on at the moment. Five books. And I already made it to countdown mode for two. And I'm trying to get to countdown mode for this big baby. This big baby is 25 chapters. Yes. I'm trying to write more bigger books because I just love I just love big books. I really do. I love bigger, longer books. So I'm not trying to make that into a pun. The, the Lord is watching me while I'm doing this video too. So yes, um, yeah. And I'm about to get some grapes and probably some grape juice. But <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm gonna focus on my books today um, as well. Like I said, in the morning, it's me and God's time. In the evening, I want to make it more of me and him as well. But, you know, throughout the day, I have to probably come up with a writing schedule. Because I just don't. I just realized something. I've been watching all the other authors' schedule, and I realized something. Authors have to have responsibility. That's why I went to work. That's why I didn't really do. I did do writing during the day. But when it was time for me to go to work, it was time to go to work. And I was like, I did not want to be stagnant. That's another thing. We can't be stagnant. I'm going to give y'all, God's willing, I promise. Tomorrow, God's willing, I'm talking about my time. I will be doing a whole message for the last warning of the Beyonce concert. So I'm going to do a whole lesson on why you should not have idols. And I'm already actually, like yesterday, I didn't, I just realized something. I didn't really write much yesterday. The only thing I wrote was what I've been studying, what I told the Lord I wanted to study. And what I'm studying is the different parts of Baal. So I will be doing a lesson on that as well. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm scratching. But everything is going to be fine. I'm going to be in the house today. Like yesterday was a day. And when I mean a day, I mean a day. So I'm my feet are hurting. I'm about to clean, cause, mm -mm. but yeah, I'm good overall, and the fact of the matter, and then yesterday I got rid of a notebook, I'm not going to use it, and even though it had lines in it, y'all, I said, I still don't want to use it, there's another notebook I have, and I, I need to find it, because it's different. And for some odd reason, I didn't even want to use that one. Yeah, this one is... I'm not going to tell you all the titles of these as well, either. No, but some of these, I was like, for some odd reason, I don't... I just don't want to work on them just yet. But yeah, so this is my writing space. I'm just going to let y'all know, this is my writing dresser. I showed y'all the pens. I showed y'all that I need to have water, Gatorade. I don't drink wine, but I do love grape juice. And I do consider grape juice, even sparkling grape juice, y'all. That's my only wine. But, yeah, so I'm trying to make this room more of an author's room and just go from there. Like I said, I have another dresser, but I don't know if I want to use that as my writing desk. I like writing on my bed. I don't want to show y'all my bed because I got to make my bed. <laughs> And yes, so it's not even that messy, but still, um, authors always prove stereotypes that authors can be clean. They just have to put in the work. They just got to be more responsible. Like, yeah. And I did say I was going to clean up today because yesterday I was so tired. I was so tired, y'all. I, I had a day yesterday. So yesterday I forgot my ID card. I forgot. I had to rush back to go grab it. Come back to the store. Like, I was out to, like, almost 5 in the evening. So, just doing grocery shopping and shopping for household stuff. So, yeah. The day in the life of a Christian romance author. So, yeah. It's hard, I can say. But at the same time, you know, I, I told the Lord last night, I said, if there's one dream that you may come true of mine, it was me being an author. And I'm so thankful for that because I'm trying not to cry, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. But, you know, the relationship I have with the Lord is just so special. And I was like, if it's just one thing that you've 
really blessed me with and it, it's always been to be an author and I didn't think I would be an author so and one of my teachers even said she even taught my sister she was like I think she's gonna be an author and I was like why would I want to be an author I said I like books but writing one I don't know but I had this tendency to write I don't know I don't know I just don't know but you know God we always say God works in mysterious ways but and I do believe that I really do but and I mean but you know his ways will always prevail over ours like if he didn't want me to write he would have said it but he placed this gift in me to write and I decided to use it for its kingdom and I'm so thankful for that you know like I was telling him this morning, I said, I'm thankful I was a blessed with thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars from writing but at the end of the day because I read about the rich man and Lazarus if you don't know what that is it's in the book of Luke uh, it's a parable that Jesus wrote. The rich man had all everything that Lazarus wanted, but Lazarus was poor and he had sores and the dogs, they would lit the sores. And he just craved for the crumbs. And, then, you know, I was thinking of that and I was like, you know what, Lord, I look at, I am craving for crumbs. When you think about it, I look at sometimes what these other authors are doing. I'm like, you know what? And at the same time, I'm like, you know what, Lord, I'm thankful I'm just thankful. I'm just thankful for, you know, sometimes not even getting the crumbs because I'm telling you why. There is a reason why because I know how I can act and I know how I can be. I'm just going to be real and I'm just going to be honest. If I did get some of that crumb, I just know. And God even knows. I'm like, yeah, I probably would say some things that I know I'm not supposed to say. But, yes, yeah, so... I'm showing y'all the water and the can rate as well. But yes, so this is the day in the life of a Christian romance author. And I like the fact that I am just I just I just love it. Now I'm I'm not even told I said I'm not here wearing Gucci, all this other stuff. I said if I'm spreading the gospel, I'm either in something comfortable or I'm in t shirt and jeans or I'm in my uniform. So Yes, absolutely. So this is, you know, like I said, I just wanted to do this and just show you all what in the day of life is like for an author. So Christian romance author, that is. So, yeah, I didn't want to show you all everything I had. That's a no-no. And I didn't want to show you all the figurines either because that's a no-no too. But how I organized it, I was like, you know what? I need this. And I pray no ink pops out, but I was like, you know what? I already got all my all my clothes are in the closet. All my clothes are in the closet, and I'm gonna keep it that way. All my stuff for out here is gonna stay out here, like the books and all that. Cause even when I get the rest of my stuff, I'm gonna get rid of more physical books. Cause there's probably just about a good bit I need and a good bit I just don't need. Um, I will have some books available, paperbacks available, and um. Yes. Um, once everything get, once I get situated, and I mean situated, then yeah, we can we can go from there, and I can talk more. Um, I will probably do like um, I really want to do a sprint with you guys. I'm thinking about doing some sprints. Thinking about doing um, 